Ukrainian troops fighting Russian battleships used belts holding their trousers to load rockets. When a critical device broke, the war story comes from the new book Our Enemies Will Perish. The author writes that the problematic rockets were later replaced by HIMARS, which were everything that the Urigan was not. Ukraine had Soviet BM-27 Urigan rocket cannons from the 1970s before acquiring U.S.-made M142 HIMARS weapons from this century that shook the Russians when they arrived. Weapons that hit hard but were imprecise and sometimes problematic. Wall Street Journal reporter Yaroslav Trofimov's new book, Our Enemies Will Perish, describes an early battle near Nizhyn, outside the northern city of Chernihiv, in which Ukrainian troops were forced to get creative when critical Urigan equipment broke in the middle of an advancing firefight. Russian armor. The day before war broke out and Russia began its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, 22-year-old Lieutenant Valentin Koval, who commanded Urigan Multiple Launch Rocket Systems Unit, was sent into forest for training exercises. But they only had a suspicious amount of weapons, more than what was needed for exercises. He brought 220mm ammunition. At this point, Alarm bells had been ringing for months about the disturbing accumulation tens thousands Russian military personnel and significant amounts equipment along Ukraine's borders. Satellite S in late January and early February did not look good for Ukraine, which was suspected to have little hope of survival if Russia invaded. The Ukrainian administration tried maintain calm. But it was clear to anyone paying attention what was about happen. Map of places around Ukraine where Russia has positioned its forces. Satellite 2022 Maxar Technologies and it arrived on February 24, 2022. The Russians picked up where they left off eight years ago and launched a large-scale invasion. Ukrainian cities were hit by dams. Then Russian troops crossed the border. Throughout the war, Ukrainian forces often relied on local civilians for critical and timely intelligence. And it was no different for Koval, who received a message from an old man. Grandfather kept saying now, not now, yet, he told Lieutenant Trofimov, and then he went I see the most cursed enemies. They are on their way. Fire on them, my son, now. According to the Wall Street Journal reporters retelling, at that moment his unit inflicted extensive damage on a Russian tank convoy. Setting off the inferno, our enemies will perish describes Koval's unit firing continuously without resting. When one Urigan launcher was fired, the others were reloaded and another round was served. This pace put significant stress on key equipment such as crane on a separate vehicle needed to. Load the heavy 620-pound rockets critical to keeping Russians at bay. When order came to finish off Russian tank convoy, batteries crane broke, leaving unit without opportunity to immediately load rocket cannons. Some of Koval, 